Hi, welcome to valuationpodcast.com, a podcast and video series about all things related to business and valuation. My name is Melissa Gregg, and I provide divorce mediation and valuation services in St. Louis, Missouri. Today, we are going to st- discuss passive appreciation in separate property in divorce and the external market forces with Dr. Ashok Abbott. He's an associate professor of finance at West Virginia University and founder of Business Valuation Incorporated, where he provides value by determining statistical significance, validating economic models, establishing establishing causality and providing rigorous empirical support. So major research, we're kind of taking this one step further and discussing the specific external market forces and basically the way to prove um, what portion of the passive appreciation is related to the market. And so I think that, you know, just starting off, I think we just have to understand a little bit about what what do you consider market forces and how do you describe it? And then how can we start to identify them when we're doing a, a valuation in divorce? Right. See, that is something which is very interesting because in most states, statute says, any appreciation as a result of market forces is can be separate property which is fine and simple except most states do not just stop there they just say external market forces things that are happening outside the purview of the management but then they stop there some of them like uh, massachusetts for example goes ahead and says external market forces, for example, inflation, and they stop there. So then it's left to whosoever is claiming that passive appreciation to make a case for what are the forces, what are the things that are impacting the business that are outside the control of the individual owner or the managers of that business, which comes a tall order if you're just starting to look at it from inside out. Mm -hmm. So the question is, how do we look from outside in? No business is operating, prospering, declining in a vacuum. Mm -hmm. Uh, You are providing a product or a service and you need a consumer that has the need for that service, the desire for that service or product, and the means to pay for it. Mm-hmm. And most important, the willingness to pay for it. Only when you have these four conditions together, the means, the desire, the willingness, and the ability, that is when a market forces can be identified that is impacting the business. Yeah, and I think you have a good point that, you know, a lot of times when we're trying to prove out this piece that's a little subjective, which I just, I love this idea whenever, you know, we were talking about last time, is that if you could, you know, and maybe it's not just um, industry issues, right? It's economic Mm -hmm. issues. It's It's bigger than just that particular industry or that particular company. (laughs) 